Hi there, this is Kathleen Packett and welcome back for part two of the series of what it takes to be an online marketer and can we make money in this industry? Yesterday we went over how much it takes how much time and um, training, that sort of thing that it takes to um, put into this profession. We start earning when we start practicing and doing what the training provides for us. We start honing those skills. We start learning to build those relationships. We start learning how to overcome objections and answer, to be able to fully answer somebody's questions and help solve whatever their problem is so that they can get to the level of where they want and what their dream is for their life. Think about how amazing this profession is. Number one, we have absolutely no ceiling on the amount of income that we can make because it whatever amount of effort we put into it that's what we get back out of it if you put a little bit of effort in you get a little bit back if you put a medium amount in you make a medium income if you put a lot of effort in you get a lot of income back but there isn't anybody that says this is the top amount that you will be able to make in my profession as a cosmetologist my income is sealed. It's sealed by the amount of hours that I can stand behind the chair and offer a service. I have a limited amount of hours in a day that I physically can, can do that. And you multiply that out by a week and you've got the maximum basically that you can earn in my profession. Now a doctor, he spent at least probably seven years on his education and many times more. He too is limited by the number of hours that he can service his clients, his patients. His income is on a higher scale but it still has a ceiling. Still, and he has a lot more expenses. And he's got an immense amount of debt to repay for his education. In any profession out there that you have gone on to a higher education or a trade school, there is a cost involved. The, the amazing part of an online marketing profession is, like we spoke about yesterday, is you can get into this for a few dollars or you can get into high ticket items that are several thousand. The amazing part is you will probably never spend more than what somebody did for one year alone of their training in any other profession. And you have a full blown business available to you at your discretion at, and you're immediately able to go out and start earning your first dollar. I couldn't do that in my first year. The state regulated me on that. A doctor can't go out in the first year of their training and start earning their first dollar. But you can in this profession. And if you treat it like a profession, you'll get professional wages back. You'll get professional earnings. There are many people out there right now that are working two jobs just to make their ends meet, to be able to have a standard of living that they would like. This can be your second job with far greater rewards. When I went to cosmetology school, I had to work as a waitress nights and evenings to support myself while I did that. 
I'm still a cosmetologist while I'm building my online business. So I just reverse it now. I still work those nights and evenings to uh, build this business while I still work my cosmetology business. You don't give up one income until you have secured that second income and you have made that profitable and you know that you know that you know how to do it. That takes training. That takes consistency. That takes a system. You have to be diligent with what you do every day to stay in front of the people that you are trying to. This is a perfect opportunity to show people that there is a better way. There is, for their efforts, for their time, for their family, for their long-term longevity, to build something that they can pass on. This can be their retirement if you put in the time, if you don't quit. In the next series, we're going to kind of inoculate you against some of the things you're going to run up against, but I'm going to just share some qualities that will be helpful to your success in this business. An open mind. Be open to learning. Be open to a new way of doing things. A willingness to share with others without any thought of return for yourself. You need to be willing to serve. Love and respect for others. Be willing to provide value for others without any monetary gain for yourself. That's how you will build trust. That's how you will, people will want to follow you because you are giving value and you're not asking for anything in return. Accept that you won't always have what's best for that person that is in contact with you. Be willing to share what will be the best thing for them at this time. You will gain their respect. They will never ever forget you. And when things change for them, you'll be the first person that they think about coming back to because you were honest with them and fulfilled what they needed at the time and sent them in a direction that was better for them. Be a professional at all times. Don't be a whiner, a complainer, or speak ill of anybody. It will only bring that right back around to you and it will not serve you in any way. So the bottom line is do the right thing and you will be rewarded tenfold for your effort. And if this is your first day with me, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my blog at KathleenPackett.com. Connect with me on Facebook, private message me. And if there's questions, let, give me the opportunity to, to answer them for you. Peace and success. Make it a great day now. KathleenPackett.com So be sure to come back for part three and as we share some of the stumbling things that you come up against when you're a marketer that make you want to stop and that you will not be alone in this. These are just the roadblocks to success and we can help share those so that you know they're coming and you can just check them off the list. So be sure to come back tomorrow and be inoculated so that you can share success as a network marketer.